is up you guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be taking a look at bling bling lady mcqueen the the thailand variant so let's get into the review now this i found at uh walmart well, along with revni grande but it was at actually the same one it wasn't the same walmart that i found revni grande i found it at a different walmart not really like my it's like another local walmart but it's like in a different town if you could call it i guess so yeah we're going to be comparing the Thailand version to the Chinese version right here that I have, and also the Mini Racer version, and maybe even normal Dynaco McQueen, and pretty much all the Dynaco people, I mean cars that I have. So let's get into the review. Now, this car is actually kind of heavy to me. I don't know if it's just the packaging, or if or if it's actually heavy, but he, he kind of feels heavy to me, which is actually kind of cool. Now, uh, you got the artwork here. I always love Bling Bling McQueen's artwork. It just looks really cool. Kind of like the angle I lay, and I love the golden piston cups, even though they don't add the gold on the piston cups, which is sad. The Disney Pixar Cars logo right there. Metal logo in the blister right there. Mattel, age three and up. Here's the back of the packaging as seen in Cars. Good job, Mattel. And wow. We got an amazing session section of cars on the back here. I mean, you got Bertha Butters Wagon, which is another new car in Case J, along with um, Bling Bling McQueen, Revenue Grande, Danny Crankoff, Dexter Hoover, whichever flag, Barry the Pedal, uh, Kathy Copter, and Kabuto. Um, Charlie Checker right there. Yeah, he's in the, he's all, he, these two are actually going to be in, are actually in Case K, Charlie Checker and Tex Dynico. It's pretty cool, along with this guy, actually. Um, Transforming Lightning McQueen, which is the other Dynaco McQueen that I'm hoping to get. Brad Windmiller, McQueen with Sign, Dexter Hoover with Checker Flag. So yeah, that's about it for the packaging, so I guess we'll get into the review. Let's open them up. So here's Bling Bling Lightning McQueen out of the package, looking pretty nice. This is a pretty significant variant, so that's why I'm going to be reviewing him. Now, of course, I'm going to pair, compare it to the uh, Chinese version and the uh, regular Dynaco McQueen version, but we'll get to that. Actually, um, let's just have like a little bit of a comparison action here, so yeah. Now, the biggest difference I can tell is that the expressions are different, because the, the China's... Um, Bling Bling and McQueen's eyes are looking toward the side, and this guy's are looking towards the front. It's very similar to normal Dynaco Lady McQueen's expression. It might actually be the same. I don't know. Oh my god, see, it's. No, I don't. <laughs> so, yeah. Of course, you got the Dynaco logo there. It's a little uh, desaturated on the. Oh, I got sne uh, Bro, I feel like I got a sneeze, but I. But I'm just not sneezing. That's so weird. You ever got that feeling? I guess so, yeah. But yeah, the Nike logo. It's a little more dull on the Chinese version than the Thailand version. This one's a little bit more grainy than this one, though. Here's the Thailand. Um, also, the mouth, the mouth on the Thailand version is colored in, which is nice. And I got a little chip right there on the China's ver a Chinese version. Yeah, it's kind of harsh. Got the headlights there, and then number 95 in, in, on there. Because there's the stickers. Also, the lightning bolts on either side there. Here's the side, number 95 and Dynaco. And the gradient's a little bit different on both of them because on the Thailand version, it goes from left to right as the gradient, or well, actually, I think it's actually right to left on the gradient. And then over here, you got it's it goes up from down from up to down on the gradient, which is kind of crazy cool to me. But yeah, Danica logo pretty much the same. Uh, lightning bolt doesn't really have that white border around it anymore for the Thailand variation, but it's kind of there. Not really, but kind of. Also, the rims for the bling bling. Um, the the rims up here on the Thailand Thailand. Thailand, no, no, China version. They're chrome, and then on the um, Thai, and and then on the Thailand variation, they're just, I guess, like kind of like a grayish silver type color. So yeah, it's kind of disappointing that they kind of cheapened it just a little bit, but it's whatever. The other side is basically the same, right there. 
Um, here's the back, and also it's pretty much the same. The number 95 there, Dynaco, and then the taillights. Bolts. These are actually on the Thailand variation. They're actually kind of gray. And over here, they're silver, which is kind of cool. There's the roof with the number 95. The different gradients, which I mentioned. Um, Lady McQueen logo. I mean, and not 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 logo, but emblem. Eh. Um, yep. And then one of the coolest differences to me is that he does have the little notches where Major can tow him around, which will demonstrate. For the working working tow hook meter r18a made in the 18th week of 2021 actually no 2022 india factory main thailand obviously but yeah what a nice variant of the lightning queen i think this is one of the better variants that they've done it just looks kind of cool to me and we'll obviously be testing out the mater tow hook mater um thing the uh test to see if it works Oh yeah, it works. I, I don't know what alternate universe this happens in, but I mean, it works. And it's still Lightning McQueen, so they have to add the little notches on the bottom, the little nooks on the butt and the bases for um, Mater to put on, put on McQueen, Otis, or Damage the King. So yeah, any McQueen variant or yeah, they have to put the notches on the bottom. So yeah, but yeah, it does work. The notches are in there good and then you also got the rivets there or bolts or whatever but yeah that's about it oh yeah i forgot to compare we need to compare them to the china variation of just normal dynaco mcqueen now the mouths are not colored in on the tie on the china version but that's fine this one's very my um china very my normal dynaco lightning mcqueen is very beaten up and it's very old so yeah don't judge me <laughs> uh so yeah, there's a side there. The gradients are also different on him. There's the back. Roof up there. Ooh, wow, I didn't notice this difference. Um, the Lightning McQueen's signature on the roof is yellow on the normal Datico version. And then it's white on the on the Bling Bling version, which is kind of cool. It also has it for the China version, too, which is kind of cool to me. It's awesome. But yeah about it for the review guys thanks for tuning in um let me get the entire dynaco gang out you got mr the king or just the king and then mrs the king over here um you got china bling bling mcqueen and his son mini baby bling bling mcqueen and then you got a uh, normal dynaco mcqueen with his son mini dynaco mcqueen or maybe I, I don't know what to call them, but yeah, it's about it for the review, guys. A lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to compare them to. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Really do hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video that comes out. It's going to be a custom review, and I'm not going to tell you what kind of custom I'm going to be reviewing for, the, for that video. So yeah, sorry for moving the camera around, but yeah, see you guys later.